As you work through the takeoff for your project, you'll begin to be assigning applications and material types to the different items that you draw on the page. And as you do, the amounts and quantities will begin to show up for these items over in the takeoff items list. However, before those materials will actually show up on your materials report, they first need to be assigned to the correct pack for the project. Or to say it another way, you need to define what part of the project do those materials belong to. So here you can see we have an upper floor plan that we have drawn. And notice at the bottom of our list we have some hangers and they've been assigned to the upper floor pack. So if we were to look at the materials report, currently only those materials would actually show up on the report list. The other items, the floor joists, the rim, and the floor decking would not show up on the materials list because they have no pack assignment. And this is clearly indicated by the red circle and the white X next to each of those lines that are missing a pack assignment. So pack assignment is important and critical to getting things on your material list. And there are several different ways in which you can manage those items in your project. So the easiest way to assign, make a pack assignment or is to come to the takeoff items list, right click on the items, for example, this hanger line item. And since an application and a product have already been assigned, it's ready to be sent to a pack. So we'll come down to where it says list, pick the duplex list, and then we'll select the appropriate pack from that list. In this case, we'll choose upper floor. And as we do, you'll notice that the red circle and white X get removed and the pack assignment is designated. So there's the simple and straightforward method to get a pack assigned. Now, another method that can be used is the default pack method. Over here in the takeoff items list, the default pack currently is set to not specified. When a default pack is set, as you draw items on the page and make material assignments, and they become ready to be linked to a pack. If the default pack has been specified, those materials will automatically be put into that pack. For example, let's set our default pack to upper floor. And as we do, you'll notice that nothing changes over here for the items that have already been drawn. But if I come over here to this portion of the project, you'll see that I have not yet drawn in this cantilever edge beam. So I'm going to go ahead and get a new segment line and draw it in place. As you do, you can see over here in the takeoff items list, I have a lineal foot segment line now. And if I come to it and I choose to make the application beam, and then also choose to make the product micro lamb to match the other side, as I do that, Note that that item now became assigned to the upper floor pack because I assigned an application and a product. And since it was ready to be assigned to a pack, the default pack of upper floor was given to it. So as you work on a project, if you go to a particular page and first set the default pack where you want all of this material that you are taking off to go to, you can set that in the beginning. And as you draw your material, the material will automatically be placed into that appropriate pack. So it happens for you automatically and you don't have to spend the extra time doing it. So you can make pack assignments over here in the takeoff items list for a particular line or set up the default pack so that they are set for you automatically.